Madrid. ...from Atletico Madrid could hardly have been more depressing. A sudden last-minute slide down the first division table, which resulted in that final match relegation, leaving both the club and its fans in a state of total shock. That was certainly the most disappointing time I've ever had in football. Um, but now things have turned around somewhat. Um, place is buzzing. You know, we've got a, we've got a cup final to look forward to, and hopefully, if we never win a league game, we've got uh, the possibility of a return to first division soccer. Just going back to last season, the latter stages, at one moment it looked as though you could be really quite comfortably up the first division, didn't it? And it That's just right. dropped like a stone. Yeah, with half a dozen games left, we got ourselves into a position where one win would have taken us into about the top five of the first division. And we were playing well enough to have sort of got that. And all of a sudden, um, we, just, we kept on. We, we did continue to play well, but the results didn't. We didn't get good results. How close did you come at that stage to resigning here? So one of these didn't sack me, I don't know how close I came to resigning. Um, when you're low immediately afterwards, you, you're very, very low. But um, then out of that, all of a sudden, I'm a resilient sort of a fellow. Um, the first thing is, we've got to put that straight. And this is what we're attempting to do now. The return to Wembley is certainly a step in the right direction, but Wednesday are very much the underdogs against Manchester United a week on Sunday. United are used to winning cup finals there, as Ron knows only too well. He was a successful manager in their FA Cup victories in 83 and 85. But a failure to land the prize, the First Division Championship, led to his sacking the next year. Does that affect his thoughts on this game? It doesn't really bother me. I mean, um, when we won the semi-final, the same question was asked, and I said I couldn't care less if we're playing Colchester United, so long as we're at Wembley. Now when the dust has settled a little bit, um, what I do think, the very fact that... Uh, any competition Manchester United are in automatically adds glamour to, to the competition. And I think that's, you know, from our point of view, it makes it, even though it is a big match, it makes it an even bigger match, the very fact that it's Manchester United. Not for my, not for, not, nothing to do with me, just the very fact that it's Manchester United at Wembley. But, I mean, you lost your job there when you hadn't a bad record at all, had you? It must rankle a bit, even now. To be fair, it doesn't, it doesn't really. I mean, that's life. I mean, if you, if you go about moping for the rest of your life, uh, you get nowhere. I mean, as I said earlier, I'm a resilient fella. I lost the job there. My record speaks for itself. I did well there. I know that, you know. And um, but there was, but there is life after Manchester United. And I've proved that. So, what are your uh, strengths in this Sheffield Wednesday side? Oh, we can play. We've got good players. Um, although you wouldn't have thought so if you'd watched us for the last week or so. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we'll we'll put that out of our system, and uh, we'll be very very confident. Do you look on anyone in particular in the Manchester United side as a, a danger man? Um, there are people in their side that you would say we would hope didn't play particularly well on the day. Such um, as? Such as I'll tell you after the final. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've, they've got good players. I mean, Sparky's, Sparky's having a great season. Mark Hughes, yeah. uh, That's his name, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Scoring some of these great goals. Um, McClare seems to have found his goal touch again. And he's a threat because goal scorers are always a threat. Um, the kid on the left wing is having Lee a, Sharp. He's having a, yeah, Lee Sharp, that's his name. Uh, he, he's, you know, he's had a, he's had a, a wonderful season. Um, I don't know, all the nonsense about Robson. I mean, we, every time we see them, we, he still looks as good as any of them. Taking on Manchester United's multi-million pound squad at Wembley will be a Sheffield Wednesday side assembled at a fraction of the cost, but one brimming with eagerness and experience. Danny Wilson, after two League Cup finals with Luton Town, should be fit to make it three in four years. Wouldn't mind regaining his semi-final form. Chris Turner's another player to have tasted the atmosphere of a Wembley Cup final with Sunderland in 85. Club captain Nigel Pearson provides not only inspirational leadership, but unexpected goals as well. While Nigel Worthington has a wealth of international experience with Northern Ireland. Prolific striker David Hurst just loves scoring goals. He's nearly 30 to his credit already this season. Doesn't he enjoy it? And former England star Trevor Francis, after 21 years of league football, now has a chance to improve on his loser's medal for Nottingham Forest in the 1980 League Cup. I didn't really anticipate this, you know, at the age of 37, but uh, in cup competitions, anything is possible. In the cup this year, we've had good victories against first division opposition in Derby, Chelsea and uh, Coventry, and we're certainly there on merit. 
this season, uh, I've not missed a game. In fact, uh, in the 18 months since I've been here, I've only been unavailable for one game. So that's been quite a surprise for Big Ron. Trevor goes back to the days of the policeman on the white horse there. Um, but what you have to say about the guy, you know, he, he's 37. He keeps saying he's 36. I know he's 37. Well, I think he is. Um, his fitness level has, and attitude and example has been phenomenal. I mean, it's been tremendous. I mean, we, the things that... He hasn't missed a game. I don't think he's missed a game this season, perhaps one through injury. Um, things that you wouldn't think that he would be able to do at his time of life. Um, he's proved wrong. He, he works tremendously hard. He, he trains, he looks after himself, trains hard. And his performance level has been very, very good. Meanwhile, Wembley is uh, just a wonderful bonus, I think, at the end of your career. Um, yes. Uh, well, my career isn't over yet. <laughs> I've said that uh, I'd like to carry on for a couple more years. And uh, if it's possible to play until I'm 40, I'll try and do so. Um, but I shall certainly know when the time's right for me to finish, and it's not at the moment. Just beginning his career in England is a recruit from last year's World Cup, American midfielder John Harkes. He's now firmly established in the Wednesday team after a spot of job hunting in Britain after his Italian trip. I've been travelling a bit, and uh, after the World Cup, it was a good highlight for me. Came over to England, been at Blackburn Rovers, went up to Celtic, and then now Sheffield Wednesday on my way to Wembley. And how does that feel, to be the first uh, American going there, I should think, in football? It's hard to put down in words, really. I mean, it's just a feeling that you have when you step on the pitch every game. You know that the next one you've got to work hard, you know, to get where we want to be. We want to be up in the first division, really. That's our first uh, priority. And then with the Wembley there as well, it's just, you know, it's just something to reach for. It's brilliant. And, of course, uh, whatever happens at the end of this season, I think you'll live on one of the best goals that's been seen this year. Well, I hope so. I mean, uh, still got a long ways to go till the end of the season, but hopefully nobody else will crack one against Shilton like that. Worthington switches it to Marks on the right. That's a good effort. Oh, what a tremendous goal by John Hawks. His first ever in English football and one he'll remember for the rest of his days. Have you actually ever been to Wembley? No, I haven't. Um, just seen it on the telly a couple of times, watched videos back home in the States when we watched the games and that, but never actually put foot in there. So how do you think you'll feel when you actually walk in? Well, I mean, people are going to say that it's it's the biggest highlight, you know, ever, I mean, for an English player to play in Wembley. I mean, I've actually been lucky. Coming here seven months' time, I've made it to Wembley, where players are waiting ten years, and some don't even get there. So, for me, coming after the World Cup, it's just going to be unbelievable, stepping in Wembley, just walking out. I've just got to try to c contain myself, really. Well, you needn't worry about that. The vast experience of Ron Atkinson and assistant Richie Barker will be right, right. behind him. There's a mood of real confidence around the club. Hey, Bobble. You know, we've got some good players also and we rise to the occasion against better opposition, we'll make it a good game and give United a good match. You know, there'll be big odds to win it. You know, everybody will make them well favourites. So um, we've only got to go there, enjoy ourselves. But when I say enjoy ourselves, I don't mean go down for just to make, make up the numbers. Um, we're going there with a view to trying to win it. <laughs> 